Today we had our first meeting of County Council uh, for the month of December and we had it here noon at the Civic Center and it was a rather short meeting but the focus was on economic development. We had one resolution that went into effect to help when fee lieu of taxes for TTI could be up to 500 jobs. So tremendous news in this pandemic and the end of this 2020 year, the economic development in Anders County is moving forward. And that's awesome to say because it points to the good work that our county administrator and staff is doing on a regular basis. And as we all see in the traffic on Clemson Boulevard and 81, more people are moving here and it's because of economic development because we have, we have jobs. And not only do we have jobs, we're getting better jobs. And so we're eager to take that momentum into 2021 one and and keep it going and from that we also did some basic rezoning efforts out on Liberty Highway for a large track of land that just went to a different classification but relatively stayed the same and then one key thing of note is we did a resolution asking our federal government to keep our federal courthouse here in Anderson. There had been some discussion as to whether or not the Anderson Federal Courthouse and the Spartanburg Federal Courthouse would be consolidated in Greenville. And our delegation on the state level met and they said they wanted it to stay here and they expressed that. Our county council unanimously voted to express that also because you know, G. Ross Anderson, our longtime resident of Anderson, uh, is has been our um, judge for a long time before he passed. And then now Tim Kane is a resident of Anderson also. So that's always been a part of uh, the culture of Anderson is having the federal courthouse here and the local judge, and we want to make sure that, that continues. Can citizens do anything to help with that? Most definitely, because the biggest thing is our citizens have federal representation. We have Congressman Jeff Duncan, you know, we have Senator Lindsey Graham, Senator Tim Scott, so please let your federal representative know that we would like to keep our federal courthouse and most importantly our federal judge here local in Anderson. And from that we took some comments from the public and um, made some comments from council, but otherwise it was a routine meeting. I think we're going to come back the third Tuesday in um, December for our last meeting of the year. And typically our December meeting is, is pretty short, um, but we'll have some items, especially backed up from this COVID environment that we'll knock out. And then as always with everything going on, we just encourage everyone to the social distance, you know, mask if you can, and let's try to keep everybody safe and, and have a Merry Christmas.